Yep. So these are the meat birds. Mm -hmm. And they've been in the house since they're little fuzzballs. And they absolutely smell horrible. So they are now outside in the normal chicken coop. And you can see the big ones are afraid of the little ones. But one of those big ones jumped in the crate and attacked the little ones all by itself. And, and, and what is that goat doing over there? It's having fun. <laughs> so yeah, now I got to uh, add some nipples to a bucket for chicken nipples. <laughs> chicken nipples, yeah. And right, we'll get on that. And we're going to do a small tour again. I got a weed, I think. Nope, those are onions. Okay, so my onions are growing. As you can see, they're coming up here, there, and everywhere. And those guys, I'm not sure. They look like they might have made it. What? Wife, wave at us. There you go. <laughs> uh, nothing's growing there yet. The radishes are growing like mad. That's a good thing because I got lots of those. <laughs> And I planted cabbage. They're spaced, I don't know, a foot and a half or so in here. And then beets, beets in, in that section there. And then broccoli, there's, I'm not sure how big they are, but there's two rows. I only go to there. Nope, this whole row is. Maybe it's one, there's one row in here. These things have two rows, so, so collards like this to there and then kale on out two rows leeks two rows and then uh, spinach because i like spinach so we'll probably have more spinach and i have to get with the doing of rows we need cauliflower and then all my peppers so i need rows all the way out and you can see i'm getting a nice green hue of weeds <laughs> and then we got uh these are for our climber so we're going to be hilled up here so our beans, cucumbers, peas, whatever else can climb. And then we can put stuff down the middle. It needs a little more shade. And I kind of held that up as a pain as it was. Um, I needed to get wet and start rotting some. It was supposed to be raining today. You can see it's dreary. But not really no rain. So then here, as you can see, I got my soaker out because it doesn't get hit by sprinklers on this side. So... Uh, what did I put over here? Um, the little cabbage things. What are those called? Brussels sprouts. So uh, they kind of staggered like here, there, 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 all the way to right here. And then the ones I had planted in the other building over there, we're going to try to put them here so we don't know what's going to live and not live once we transplant it. So I've got this section for that. These are seeds planted. So we'll see with the weather. In here, I have somewhat prepared it. Uh, we don't have anything planted in here yet. This is where I'm going to put the tomatoes. So I've got it mounted up down each side, down the middle, and then down the side with my soaker in here. It appears the cat was pulling on it or something over there. But So that, that's where we're at here. Just waiting another few weeks. Probably uh, first weekend of June or whatever. But like I got to get with this, I got blister in my hand right in there from the rake. <laughs> and we got pups coming. We should. This one here, this one here, she's she's extra fluffy down here. She, well, she's not going to let me look. See how she is? I'll keep her attention over here. So there you go. She's extra fluffy. She should be having pups here by Friday. That don't mean it's going to happen on Friday. And then uh, I recorded... I recorded pups a little while ago. I was just in here, so um, Mama's doing okay in here. Do 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 do. Gotta 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 tread strategically because she's got liquid stuff coming out of her. <laughs> but you're not in there with your puppies. What are you? Were you laying there eating food? And of course, I need to block this off because they growl at each other. And for whatever reason, I put rocks in there, and you can see she's put dirt on top of them. And I just put those rocks in because she's trying to dig a hole here. And then, look at that fluffiness right there. Where's your puppies? 
I got your puppies. Look at this fluffiness right here. Oh my gosh. He's a little boy. At least I think it's a little boy. Mama's getting in here. Did that make you nervous? Oh, this guy's getting away. She come over here and get in our way. Don't step on him. You look, you're sitting right on him. See how you are? Oh man, lunch is here. You better, you better let lunch in there. Everybody's going. So everybody looks healthy, fat and healthy anyways. This one's a long-haired one. Hmm. Uh, they, they don't look like they've missed anything. <laughs> so there's your update on the pups. All right, let's go make this chicken, chicken nipples. <laughs> That's just funny. Okay, so that consists of a bucket and some little waterers or something out the bottom of the bucket. But hey, we'll get with that. Chicken nipples. <laughs> All right. So those of you who don't know, I'm looking over here because I'm not using my phone. So that's where I'm looking because that's what you guys are looking at me through. So i got to remember to look at you guys and not at that. All right. So... For those of you that don't know, I have another YouTube channel, Pole Barn Productions. Now, every time I do something different on my Pole Barn channel, I lose subscribers. Um, here's an example. Uh, I lost 13 subscribers for this video last week. And, and it was just, uh, I, I put a video up every Friday. This video went up on Saturday night. And within a week, I lost 13 subscribers for that video. Whatever the reason is, it don't really matter because I didn't need them anyways. But uh, instead of hindering that channel with content like this on it, even though that's not a specific wood turning channel, it's a pole barn production. So it didn't say nothing about wood turning in it, but eh, whatever. Um, I'm going to try to run another video and, and do this here where I can gain instead of lose. And, and that's all I'm really worried about. So, um, for those of the, you that followed me over here, thank you for following me. Uh, the other thing, you know, I, I'm Doug, for those of you just joining. Um, and we're going to try and do uh, a homestead type stuff, I guess. A little more self-sufficient. That really stinks. Anywho, my wife wants me to use this instead of a five gallon bucket at first to see if, uh, we can make this work, uh, but the little chicken vultures out there, <laughs> those are meat birds, and they suck down that whole little tray thing full of water in a matter of hours. So we're going to add some more water. If this doesn't work, I'll use the five-gallon bucket that we purchased for it, but she wanted to try this first and see if it would work. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to get these one of these open i don't need them all i'm going to probably use a step drill uh, i'll do a practice piece see how this fits through that what size it needs to be and of course here uh, so let me get that set up we'll be right back well <laughs> that was pretty simple i suppose what's supposed to happen is water being here chicken that hit this and the water comes out Pretty simple, step drilled it in so far. It's got a rubber seal on these. And uh, I'll just mark which one I, I went down to and we'll put four holes in the bottom of this bucket down here and go from there. Regular old Sharpie. And I'm just gonna go down into here to where I where I went before so we don't wanna we don't wanna go past that one there. And then I suppose just in the four corners, what do you think? Yeah? Let's put one one there, there, there. Well, you can't see. Can Alright, so one there, 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 and there. I've got eight, but I think I'm gonna hang on to the other package of these just in case I need them again. I'm not pushing real hard. Right. And then they have, uh, they have a little rubber gasket on them already to uh, seal them, I suppose. That was real difficult. I'm glad I could share this with you guys. 
I spent more time thinking about how am I going to do this than it actually took to do it. Huh. How about that, eh? But all right, we'll get these sealed down and some water in it and see how it works. Do that outside. Look at that, it's a yellow cow. <laughs> oh, here you go. Looks like it's got little feet on it, but supposed supposed to be. They're supposed to hit it like so. so. Let's go out and get some water in this and see what happens. Well, I see now that I went through all this that they're in there. So, but all I've done is just kind of hung it by a chain out here. And they appear to have found the, the things, but there's no water in it yet. So we're going to do that now. Maybe if I go back out here and turn it on better. Uh, this is hard to do with one hand, you know. So. But anyways. Oops, I see them dripping down there. So they're looking. I see them, they're looking. Uh, what I'm worried about is how much weight is that going to hold, so... But. They apparently all have stage fright. <clears throat> now, hopefully, I'm not sure how much water is in there. Well, it's actually got quite a bit of water in it, don't it? Anyhow, that's full, so let's go shut that off. Maybe they'll figure it out, bud. Kitty, 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 kitty! <laughs> Oh, oh man. Yeah, we gotta milk her too. <laughs> <clears throat> but I noticed that there's some in here, so. But, uh, so we got one, two, or five in here. The problem with these are these are white rocks. And they will eat till they explode. They'll eat till they get so much weight on them that their legs break from the weight they have. So we were hoping that they wouldn't come in here, but you know, <laughs> they did. Uh, there's a shelter out there for them, but um, this is going to hinder the rest of the birds eating if they're all in here eating. So, <laughs> well, all right then, everybody. There it is. I don't know if they're actually going to use it or not, but you know, whatever. So, thanks for watching. Huh? Make sure you hit that thumbs up or thumbs down, <laughs> you know. And uh, we'll see you next time. Y'all have a nice, nice evening. I don't know when I'm going to put this up. <laughs> Might be the weekend. <laughs> Bye-bye now.